week since the deadly mass shooting at, at the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival that happened on the Las Vegas Strip. 58 people were killed, hundreds of others hurt. The families affected by the Aurora Theater shootings are reaching out to those in Las Vegas. With me now, Katie Medley, a survivor of the Aurora Theater shooting, and Megan Medley, Project Hope founder, here to tell us more. You started this Project Hope project thing, and tell us a little bit about, I think, thing, the, this event that you got <laughs> and all of the, tell me about the basket you're gonna send. Yeah, so um, we came up with the idea after the shooting happened, and um, yes, there oh, yeah. right. um, Megan actually has done some baskets for um, law enforcement. Law in enforcement, the past. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. So we just were like, we need to do something. You know, it's really hit home for our family. You right. know, so we wanted to do something for first responders and for the victims um, of this tragedy. So you know, we got together, we brainstormed, and this is what we came up with. We want to bring a little hope to Las Vegas, so we're calling it Project Hope Baskets. Um, we have a variety of stuff in here. Yeah, there's a lot of neat treats in there. Let me ask you this now, how, have you had contact with the individuals there in Las Vegas to find out what kinds of things they need or how you'll go about getting it to the people that need them? Um, so we talked to a lot of people who've been on the ground there. Um, some Aurora okay. families actually went down there. Oh, okay. um, so I spoke with some of them. We have spoke with the police department and the fire department oh. also. Um, and they have got a lot of things, but you know, we're trying to make this a little more personalized and easy for like the police officers, like in this basket, for them to be able to just grab stuff and go. It's mm -hmm. not, you you know, we're not making a basket for each officer right. necessarily, but we're making bigger baskets so they can just grab something. Right. And it's going to have some really nice letters, um, oh, you know, that people cards that they have written nice special this notes and stuff really like that. Nice. So, email if you need to reach out to some know someone who knows what you've gone through. That's great. That's really cool. Now, tell me about the smaller basket. Where does that go? Those are for um, the victims and their families. Okay. <coughs> Excuse That's me. Okay. And the. Uh, victims advocates uh -huh. so we're just doing smaller things that little things that they can use if right. their families of victims still in the hospital things like that uh, drink snack foods um, toothpaste lotions things like that Always that way they can just kind of hang out in the room and they don't have to leave victim advo advocates just so a little thank you for everything that they right. do putting forth so much effort when things happen and when does all this get delivered we are leaving Colorado on the 25th, okay. and then we are going. We are arriving the 26th. Okay. Well, we'll be there the night before, and we're delivering it all on the 26th to the first responders. Send us some pictures, will you? We will. We'd like to yeah, like to follow absolutely. up on this. Definitely. Right? Megan, Katie, thank you so much for being thank with us. You. you can find out more information about the Project Home Baskets in the uh, on TV section of our KWGN website, kwgn.com. Now.